Hello dear children, welcome back. Today we are going to learn class 6 chapter 2 whole numbers. Before we move into whole numbers topic, let's discuss about predecessor and successor. As we know, we use 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. when we begin to count. They come naturally when we start counting. Mathematicians call these counting numbers as natural numbers. Given any natural number, you can add 1 to that number and get the next number. That is its successor. The successor of 15 is 15 plus 1, 16. And that of 16 is 16 plus 1, 17 and so on. The number 15 comes before 16. We say that the predecessor of 16 is 16 minus 1, 15. In this way, we can find the predecessor and successor of any natural number. Do you know what is the predecessor and successor of number 3? The predecessor is 2 and successor is 4. Does one have both successor and a predecessor? We know that the number 1 has no predecessor in natural numbers. To the collection of natural numbers, we add 0 as the predecessor for 1. The natural numbers along with 0 form the collection of whole numbers. So in whole numbers, we have predecessor for 1 as 0. In the previous classes, you have learned to perform all the basic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division on numbers. You also know how to apply them to problems. Let us try these operations on a number line. How to draw a number line? You draw a line, mark a point on it, label it 0. Mark a second point to the right of 0, label it 1. The distance between these points labeled as 0 and 1 is called a unit distance. On this line, mark a point to the right of 1 and at unit distance from 1 and label it 2. In this way, go on labeling points at unit distances as 3, 4, 5, etc. on the line. You can go to any whole number on the right in this manner. What is the distance between 4 and 6? Let's find it from the number line. It is 2 units. On this number line, you will see that the number 7 is on the right of 4. The number 7 is greater than 4. 8 lies on the right of 6 and 8 greater than 6. These observations help us to say that out of any two whole numbers, the number on the right of other number is the greater number. We can also say that whole number on the left is a smaller number. For example, 4 less than 9. 4 is on the left of 9. Now let's see how to do the addition on the number line. Addition of whole numbers can be shown on the number line. Let us try the addition of 3 and 4 on the number line. Start from 3. Since we add 4 to this number, so we make 4 jumps to the right. From 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6 and 6 to 7. The answer is 7. The subtraction of two whole numbers can also be shown on the number line. Let us find 7 minus 5. Start from 7. Since 5 is being subtracted, so we move towards left with one jump of one unit. Make 5 such jumps. We reach the point at 2. So we get 7 minus 5 as 2. Now let's learn the multiplication of whole numbers on the number line. Let us try 4 into 3. Start from 0. Move 3 units at a time to the right. Make such 4 moves. 0 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 9 and then 9 to 12. 
you will reach at 12. So we say 4 into 3 is equal to 12. So in this class we learned the basics of whole numbers. What is natural numbers? What is successor and predecessor? How to draw a number line? How to do the basic operations using a number line? These all things we learned in this class. Hope you understand this class. In the next class, we will learn properties of whole numbers. Till then, I wish all of you a happy learning.